What do we do when we are asked to solve an expression that mixes fraction, decimal, and percent? Well, the trick is simply convert everything you have into fraction, or everything you have into decimal, or everything you have into percent, whichever is your favorite. And then once they're all in the same form, it's very easy to combine them. For the first example, I'm going to convert everything in this expression into fraction. 0.45 has two numbers after the decimal. So I write the denominator of 100, a 1 with two zeros. As many zeros as there are numbers after the decimal. Then I write the numbers after the decimal as my numerator, and I don't bring the decimal with it. 0.45 is equivalent to 45 hundredths. We'll leave 1 20th the way it is for now. 35%, well, percent means over 100. So 35% is very easy to convert into a fraction. It means 35 over 100. To get a common denominator, we have two fractions that already have 100 as the denominator. I'm going to choose to expand this fraction so that it also has 100. 20 times 5 will give me 100. 1 times 5 will give me 5 as my new numerator. So I end up with 45 over 100 plus 5 over 100 plus 35 over 100. Adding these together, I get 85 over 100 as my answer. This can be reduced though. 85 and 100 have a common factor of 5. If I divide both of them by 5, I end up with 17 over 20 which cannot be reduced further or simplified further. That's my final answer in fraction form. Now let's do the same expression, but we'll convert everything into decimal. 0 0.45 is already in decimal form. I don't have room to show a division here, but I can do a division with pencil and paper 1 divided by 20, or I can use my calculator to convert 1 20th into 0 0.05. 35%, remember, that's a decimal right there. And when you convert a percent into a decimal, you move the decimal two spaces to the left. So we end up with 0 0.35. When I add 0 0.45, 0 0.05, and 0.35, I get 0 0.85 as my answer. And that is equivalent to this fraction. How about if we convert everything into a percentage? 35% is already in the form of a percentage. 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05. And 0.45, if I move my decimal two spaces to the right, becomes 45%. Okay, my fraction is in an intermediate stage. I've converted it into a decimal, but I still have to make another step to convert it into percentage. My next line will have 45% plus, to convert 0.05 to a percent, I move my decimal two spaces to the right, and I end up with 5%. And then 35% was already in the form of a percentage. Now that they're all percents, I can combine them. 45% plus 5% plus 35% is equal to 85%. 85% is equivalent to 0.85, and they are both equivalent to 17 over 20. If the instructions in your question say that you have to solve this by converting everything into a fraction, you have no choice. You have to follow the instructions. But if you are given a question and it is left up to you to decide how to solve it, you can convert everything into your favorite form, fraction, decimal, or percent. Once they're all in the same form, it's easy to combine them and get a final answer that is correct.